Right, what are we doing today? We've got a busy day today. So I don't know if you saw the video that I put out there yesterday. Um, about six months ago, we had a tenant that was um, suffering from her health and she wanted to leave. So she went back to her home country and told us just to dispose of everything in her room. Now in her room, there were bags of clothes, there were books, there was computers, there were keyboards, Christmas trees, everything. And I kind of thought, well, I'm not comfortable in disposing it, even though she told me to and I got it in writing. So I put it into storage for her for free. Well, bizarrely, about two days ago, she contacted us back asking if we still had it and could she have it back. So we're gonna go over and deliver it today, free of charge, we're not gonna charge her for it. So that's a good news story. So that's the first thing we've gotta do. The second thing we're going to do today is to go over one of my flat refurbishments um, just to see where we're at. I think we're almost finished and I'll give you a rundown and a breakdown of all of the costs that were involved in that property. And then thirdly, we've got a tenant that gave us notice and they're checking out today. So we're gonna go and make sure the room's okay and do a final room inspection. So that's today, let's go and do it. Right, so we're here. So we're going to go down in the cellar where we stored the stuff. Um, we're going to, we've got an address to meet the tenant at. Um, and we're going to stick it in the van. So yeah, let's go and do it. Right, how much stuff have we got then? Let's have a look. Watch your foot in. Into the dirty, smelly cellar. Right, so... Um, this is all the stuff that she's left here. So it is quite a lot actually, it's more than I thought. Yeah. So we've got two massive cases and a load of bags. This isn't hers. No. That's the stuff that we just need to put in the bin. We'll come back for that at some, some other point. And all of that. It needs a good old clean in there as well. So we had to put this little downstairs toilet in for the licensing conditions um, because the property needed a downstairs toilet. Uh, but nobody ever uses it, it's crazy really. So, um, okay. Let's get this done then. That's it. No worries. There's a lot more than I remember. Okay, done. Right, that's it, we're done. Let's go over and deliver it. Right, we're done, we've delivered it. She looks a lot better than she did last time we saw her, bless her. She's got a nice new apartment now. I think her life is on the up and she's got all of her property back. So right, we're gonna go over to the next property now and do an inspection on the latest refurb. Right, we're at the big house in the city centre where the latest refurbishment is. And we've just driven past the bins. And you can see like a telly that's just smashed up. I don't know what's going on. Let's have a look. Why would that be there just randomly? There are two tellies here. Two monitors. Why would they just be put there? I'm not gonna put them in the bin, just in case someone's coming back for them if they're moving out, I don't know. It's just a bit old, aren't they? I'll put them here. They're not broken. Maybe someone's put them there in case somebody else wants them. Minging. Do you want a telly? <laughs> All in a day's work. Unless um, the scrap man pops around here, I don't know. Apart from that, it's okay, isn't it? These lawns are going to need mowing soon as well. Right, so. I'll do a little video actually of a bit of the provenance on this building and on this property um, for the new followers, if you were not aware of what this building is. But we'll go into the flat first and have a look to see what's happening. It's a huge building, always something going on here. <laughs> There's always maintenance, but that's part and parcel of being a landlord, right? Right, so it's all the way to the other side. It's a lot tidier here. There was a load of stuff left out here last time we came. Right, windows have been finished, that's a good sign. That's the first thing I was gonna look for. Last time we came, the windows weren't filled and they weren't finished, so that's better. So if anyone saw me on a video and I had to break in to one of my own flats because the tenant had left, this was it. And everyone was saying, the windows are really bad. Well, they were, and we've replaced them now with new double glazed windows. The problem is it's a listed building and because it's listed, we have to wait for permission to come through before we can do anything. So that's been done. That one's been done as well. So that's much better. Right, let's go in. We're gonna upset everyone because we're gonna go in with our shoes on 
we, it's not possible folks for us to take our shoes off every time we go and do videos um, but we do need to try and make sure that our feet are clean so all right i need to get the keys first welcome to the cellar folks we've got i don't know how many cellars we've got here we've got one like this another one next door like this that's two then we've got a massive coal bunker in here and another massive cellar on the other side as well so we've got at least four cellars i don't think there's any more than that um, just dead space really um, we don't like to give access to the tenants because you know what happens with cellars generally speaking is that tenants will put stuff in them and then they'll walk away and leave the stuff so we've got two card two two keys here as well yeah right i've got a price list on my phone as well for all of the furniture that we've had installed for this property you can smell the new carpet now talking of which let's make sure we've got clean shoes welcome oh look at this look at this uh where's the light coming in how nice does this look now this is an old piece of carpet here that obviously isn't uh, going to be staying oh this looks really nice doesn't it it looks really, I need to take some photos as well of this before we go. Um, I'm just going to have a look through myself, folks, as I haven't seen it yet um, since it's been finished. The story behind this flat is that the tenant did a runner. Yes, I know it happens, but we are a big business. We've got a lot of tenants, we've got a lot of units. Um, and it was one of the last flats in this block that um, wasn't decorated. Um, so really all we've done, we painted it. Um, we've done a bit of, um, sort of DIY and we've just redressed it. And now we've turned it into this. So this is the living room, welcome. Um, they can have their telly in this corner here if they choose to, which is perfect. Or they could have it in this corner here. I'd probably have it there with a the couch there, telly there, or even a telly on the wall. And we can help them do that if they want to. So the living room, I'm gonna go through the furniture prices with you in a minute so you know how much that we paid. The bedroom, this looks amazing. It looks really good. The windows haven't been cleaned properly on the outside. They need cleaning. The internal windows. So this is secondary glazing um, because of the main road and it's listed. So we can't take the sash windows away, but we have got secondary glazing. And it's silent. It's really quiet. The curtains have been pinned back because the, um, the windows have been painted. But they do need cleaning. So they've been cleaned on the internal side. They haven't been cleaned on the outside. Really nice. Have you seen the big mural? Yeah. It looks really good. Folks, let me know what you think of this as we move along in the comments. Um, I think it looks really smart. It's taken a while to get to this point. We've had a fully fitted new kitchen as well, because um, the kitchen was really dated. Um, so this is the kitchen. All new cupboards, new worktop, washing machines plumbed in now, fridge, freezer, oven and hob extractor fan new windows and then we've got the shower room now before anybody says do you need two doors between a shower room and a kitchen you don't anymore that's a long time ago that was abolished over 10 years ago so it's completely compliant for building regs so we've got shower shower cubicle toilet and sink unit and then we've got a hand dryer here that's not been cleaned has it been cleaned yet I don't think it's been cleaned yet, has it? Doesn't look like it. I really like it, it's really good. I mean, there's a couple of things that, you know, I would pick up on the snagging, but we're not gonna be perfectionists on this particular job because we've got a tenant waiting to come in. So he's already booked this, um, this property and he booked it before we even did the refurb. Right, let's do a few prices. If you're interested to know how much we paid for all of the furniture, I'm gonna have to search for it. So it's gonna take me a little while to bear with me. Right, I've got it here. Right, so we use a company called Let Us Furnish. So they're from Swansea. They come out, they take all the old furniture away and they construct all the new furniture on site. So there's no flat packing for us to do. We don't have to you know, spend all weekend putting furniture together. It's all done for you. Of course, you have to pay for that service, but it means you can leverage your time. Right, so let's go into the bedroom and I'll kind of do two door, Genoa wardrobe. Where's that? I think the wardrobe's here. Yet. Oh, the, the wardrobe's not here yet. Okay. <laughs> Four drawer 
chest of drawers. That's that one. So we've got a four door chest of drawers. So we'll wait for a wardrobe. So the wardrobe's not arrived yet. Okay, well, the wardrobe is £265 anyway. We've got this, it's called a Genoa chest metal runner. That's £165 for that one. Uh, bedside metal runner, which is that one there. Genoa bedside metal runner, £99.17. And 17 pence. Uh, for two, yes, it is for two. And then we've got the Trestle Summer Oak Desk. That's in here. So the Trestle Summer Oak Desk is this one. That is £115.83. These prices are not including VAT. Urban round table with two chairs. That's not round. Well, that's the table with two chairs, but it's not round. That's like square. But anyway, that's what they're referring to. That was £249.17. Coffee table, small glass. That's those two. They're both the same. We had two of those and they came to £57.50 each. And then we've got the Lisbon Grey Chair. What's the Lisbon Grey Chair? Is that in there? Yeah, is that that, that one? Oh yeah, so this chair here, which we think is quite nice. Lisbon Grey Chair, £165.83. Wow. Yeah, that's a lot. But it does give it that, you know, that wow factor, that panache. Um, where are we? Mattress, five foot Molly mattress. So the mattress for the bed, £174.17. And that's it. So the bed we already had. The bed came out of the serviced accommodation unit that we put together and we weren't quite happy with the colour scheme because it didn't match anything. So I'm not entirely sure how much the bed was, so I can't tell you. And then all of the bric-a-brac we get locally from Dun Elm. So we've got Dun Elm Mill um, or a home base uh, on the retail park and the cushions, the bric-a-brac. Those are actually from my house. I've only just noticed that. So those two there, obviously Lorraine's brought in for dressing. They're from my house. Um, and then the pictures. So I don't know where this mirror came from, so I haven't got a price for that. And all of this bric-a-brac came from um, home base, I believe. And those cups are from my house. <laughs> so that's it. I'm really pleased with it. Um, it's taken a long time to put together, but we are ready to go now. So what do you think? Let me know what you think in the comments. Would you rent it? We're in Worcestershire. It's exclusive of bills and council tax. What would you pay? for a flat of this standard, let me know. So for those of you that are new to my channel, this property, well, it's all of it. So I don't know if you can pan round, George. So we've got all of it from that side, all the way, all the way, all the way, all the way down here, all the way across here, and all of that block there as well. So this used to be an old school about 60 or 70 years ago and it was converted then into flats and it's, we've got here now we've got 27 self-contained flats across the whole of that building which is great but we've got a couple of things a um, couple of issues with big buildings like this is that the maintenance is always something to do i mean i can see maybe a couple of slip tiles there now looking up i didn't know about that before so that's obviously going to need to be addressed um, we've got bay windows on the front of the building that we are looking to replace because they're starting to rot. That means we have to scaffold. Scaffolding will start at about £10,000 on this property. But anyway, that's the bad stuff. The good stuff is this big, huge chunk of property. First of all, it's in the city centre. You wouldn't think so. I don't know if you can hear that much um, because I've got my microphone muffler on, but it's silent anyway. There's a little bit of traffic noise from the front. And the other good thing is is that the profits on these big properties are huge. So we bought this for 1.1 million pounds. We spent about 250,000 pounds on the refurb over a course of about two years. And this property is now worth about 2.4 million. The garden on its own is worth about half a million pounds um, because of the location. And it is on a separate title. So it's an amazing property. We get to house 27 tenants to the quality of the flat that I just showed you. Um, but the maintenance is always ongoing. So if you're going to be buying big buildings, make sure you do your numbers and make sure you do put a little bit of a pot to one side for ongoing maintenance. So this is a quick detour today. So we've got loads of plans of um, going around loads of properties today, doing lots of different things. 
but I got an electric um, key for this property because that was what was installed when we first got here. And I've just charged it up with 20 quid. I don't want it to run out in the house. So I don't want the boiler to stop working. So I thought we'd just pop in now, charge the electric up, and then we'll come back and uh, continue the day. It's cold in here. Does that mean the heating's off? Yeah. So the electric's already run out on it. This is what I didn't want to happen. Okay. It looks like the electric's already off. We missed it. I don't want it to get too cold in here because if it does, and if it goes to, you know, if it freezes, it can start causing us problems. Yeah, the electric's off. Right, 20 quid should last a little while though, shouldn't it? So if you haven't been here, folks, before, this is our new purchase. Um, as you can see, we've done absolutely nothing with it since we bought it, because we are planning on a full refit. But that, at the moment, it's gonna take a little while. Right, 20 quid, is that it, have we done? Is it on? I don't know how to work these, I've never used them. I don't, I've really no idea. It's insert a key to add credit or activate emergency credit. Right, the key's been in then. So I don't know what all of that is. It said 20 quid when I put it in. But it's not on, is it? It's not come on. Oh, hang on. No. I didn't hear the boiler starting up either, no. No, it's not on. That's odd. It said £20 when I put it in there. I don't really know how to use these prepaid meters, is it? There's only one button on there. I put it in and it said 20 quid. Unless we're like 20 quid in arrears. It said £16.44 debt. So it means we haven't got enough. It's gone well over, hasn't it? Yeah, it says debt. Not debit, debt. £16.44. So we need to go and get some more credit on it, don't we? I might go and do that now. I'm presuming we can use this one still. So if I go and get 30 quid, that'll put us to 15, 14 quid in credit, won't it? Yeah? Yeah. It's not on. There's, there's nothing on it's at all. I don't know. And then put 20 quid in and nothing's going to... So, we need to do it there, otherwise the house is going to get really cold. Right, maybe we can just pop round to the shop now and put another... Do you reckon this one will still work then? There's no case ever left to use a new one, Why? I've no idea, I've never used them before, so I don't know. Unless that's the issue. I don't know. I don't really know how they work. What did it say before you put it in? Like? I put it in and it said 20, and then the 20 went off. You didn't say anything before, you didn't say anything. The screen was blank. Mm. It says debt 16 quid, so anyway, let's go in. Okay, we'll come back. Right, so we just come back to the office just to replace this key because they've actually sent us a new one and I don't want to put credit on this key only to find that we have to use this key. Right, so what does the letter say? How do I use my prepayment meter? Your property has electric meter. This means you need to pay for electric in advance by charging your key at a pay point. Don't be tempted to discounted top-ups or doorstep sellers. Before you charge your key, put it into your meter to initialize it. So we need to go back. <laughs> Any credit you have on your meter will not be lost. Once you've charged it, put it back in your meter and the top-up will register and you'll be able to see how much money you've got left, how much energy you've used and your current meter reading. Remember, your key will only work in your meter. Okay, so we need to go in... Before you charge your key, put it into your meter to initialize it. Okay, we've got the new top-up meter. Um, oh, the keys are on the outside of the door. I don't care. There's nothing to nick in here. So apparently I've got to register this by putting it in the meter and then I can go and top it up. <coughs> right. So that says debt 1644. This is what it said before. So let's get this in. Accepted. Zero. Is that it? We're good to go. Debt 1644. Okay. Let's go and charge it up. Hope it works. I'm going to put £50 on because if it's already in debt, um, I don't want to keep running back and to every, every week just to charge it up. So I think there's a shop over the road that allows top ups. Let's go and see. We'll soon tell us. £49 because it wouldn't take 50 quid. 
Apparently there's a limit on these key meters of 49 pounds. Who knew? I didn't know. Let's see if this works. Oh, we haven't got a bulb in there anyway. All right, so we've put 49 quid on. There we go. Accepted, 49 pounds, we're on. Yeah, 32 pound 55. So we were obviously um, in debt for some reason. I don't, it must be set at like 30 pound reserve or something. Right, so let's turn these lights off so we don't want to be wasting any electric. So the reason I've come back to do this, as I say, is that I want the heating on more than anything else because uh, if it gets too cold in here, then it's, um, it's not going to be good for the property. The water's just come on. It's on minimum anyway. I'm not worried about hot water. We don't want any hot water. So let's turn the water off. What does pH mean? It's flashing pH. Preheat? Probably preheat. Like that, it? Right, it's on. It's just, it's just come on. Right, the thermostat is set to 15 degrees. So maybe you could just do it 14. Let's knock it down one. Right, we're good to go. So what's happening with this property? Well, we've got an, um, an asbestos survey. In fact, it was been done today. That's probably why that's been moved. Maybe they took it off the top. Um, asbestos survey today. We can't let anybody in unless we've done an asbestos survey. Once the results of that come back, then we've had our builders come around, going to give the asbestos survey to him. He's going to give us our quotes. Then we're going to be ready to go. He's really fast. So when he gets in the projects, this will be done really quickly. And then hopefully um, it'll be a completely different property next time you see it. I'll do continual vlogs just so you know what we're doing and keeping you up to date. Right, let's go to the next property. Right, so our next visit is to do a checkout inspection. So we've been given notice from one of the tenants in this property. They are uh, told us they'll be gone by 12 o'clock today. It's now 12.30. So we're just gonna come along and just make sure that the room's in good order and there's no problems. <laughs> come on in. That's lasted all right. He probably could do with another coat of paint. It's okay though, isn't it? Yeah, that's, that's lasted fine. I was worried that it wasn't going to dry, but it needs another coat of paint on there, though. So when George and I painted this, then the wall was completely, um, it came away, all the plaster flaked off. So we had it replastered and painted it, but we could do with perhaps just another quick coat of paint. I'll have a little look outside in a minute. Okay, oh, I left the light on. Hmm? I don't remember the last time I came into this room. Nice and tidy. Let's just open up the blinds a little minute so we can... How do you do that? Oh, that's all been tied. Tied it all up. So, it's quite dark. Can you see all right? Yeah. Yeah, these blinds are all a little bit tangled. That's a shame. It just needs a bit of TLC. Yeah, that's not good. Okay, the blinds are oh, no good. Right, so this is a HMO room. Um, this goes for 450 a month, I believe, something similar. All bills inclusive, including council tax. So um, it looks really clean, it looks fine. The mattress looks clean. There's no stains on the mattress. And the wardrobe, there's a little bit of, I don't quite know what that is there. It's a stain on there. It's like a spider's been squashed. It is, it's a spider, that, isn't it? Is it? I think so. It's just like a spider's been squashed. Mm. Um, wardrobe, all good? Clean and tidy? It's just that the blinds, um, they're probably going to need to be replaced. If they can keep getting tangled up, it's not going to be very good for the next tenant. So we might just ask to put some roller blinds in there instead of instead of these. This, I don't know if this one works. I don't know why they're all tangled up. I don't know. I'm not going to mess with them. I don't want to make it any worse. I'll just pull the window too. Good, yeah, I'm happy. Um, there's absolutely no issues at all in paying the deposit back on this. It's clean as a whistle, it's ready to go, literally ready to rent back out. So yeah, good. Good news. So a quick tour of the house then. Um, so this is, a, a lot of people say, oh, the rooms are tiny, or well, how would you expect people to live in those rooms? Well, they don't have to live in the rooms. It's just a room in a shared house. So you get everything else as well, like the living room, this big badger of a TV, and we provide Netflix as well. So huge TV in the wall. The wall is obviously something that, if you followed me for a while, you'll know that I don't like wedged doors open. They get the shared kitchen as well, come on through. 
So this is the shared kitchen. Um, double sink and drainer, washing machine, another downstairs toilet, upstairs toilet and bathroom as well. Two fridge freezers. Um, is one of those new or was that next door, George? Uh, next door. Was it next door? Yeah. Um, so they get the whole use of the house and they've got a really nice garden as well. Come outside and have a look in the garden. Those bins could do with a bit of a wash, couldn't they? So we have a cleaner. Um, that comes in every two weeks and does everything, brings it all back to normal um, just to keep the house nice and tidy. I'm not sure, we normally have a rotor, but... It might be in the, the door. Underneath the stairs? Yeah. Yeah, it probably is, isn't it? And then we've got the lovely outdoor area as well, so... Come on outside. In the summertime, it's really nice out here. So we've got the nice back garden. Now, it is overlooking a load of allotments. So those are allotments, so there's no neighbours there, so it's always really peaceful. Um, loads of garden space for people to hang out and of course they've got you know the patio area as well needs a bit of a clean um, I suppose we could do with a bit of a, a paint of this as well but yeah it's a really nice house when people say oh you expect them just to live in those little tiny rooms no not at all just like a bedroom in your house and my house you get to have the same facilities it's no different here so folks, if you do get value from my channel, this is the kind of thing that I do. I just show the reality of investing in property as a landlord, as a property investor, from a tenant's perspective and from an investor's perspective, keeping it real all the way. So if you like my content, it really helps if you could click on that subscribe button and leave a comment. Let's get this algorithm working a little bit harder and I'll see you on the next one.